Hello to everyone and uh, God bless you. Um, today I want to talk about how to know whether someone is of God or not. Because there are many people outside claiming or saying that they are hearing God's voice. There are people outside like... They do many signs and wonders. People, if you hear that testimony, you are like, wow. And um, I want to talk about how to know whether someone is of God or not. If someone is speaking from God or not. Because um, Jesus said... In Matthew chapter um, 7 verse 15, he's, he's saying, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clo clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous wolves. So, Sometimes we think because some a person tells us th that um, he's hearing the voice of God, we think that the person is of God, or someone someone is doing many signs and wonders, and we because of this we think that the person is of God, or the person is telling testimonies, or God answered the prayers. But the truth is, it's not by that. To know whether someone is of God, we cannot know it by signs and wonders. We cannot know it by um, if the person by the visions, the revelations the person has. We cannot know it by the dreams the person has. We cannot know it by uh, what the that if the person that claims that um, he's hearing the voice of God. So how we really know whether someone has the Holy Spirit and whether someone's of God is because Jesus says here after he says we were false prophets who come uh, to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ravenous wolves he says that you will know them by their fruits do men gather grapes from thorn bushes or figs from distil distils even so, every good tree bears good fruit, but the bad tree bears bad fruit. So, Jesus says we know them by their fruits. You can um, also continue reading. And this fruits is not their works. It's not the works that they are doing. This fruits is not revelation or dream or um, hearing God's voice. This fruits is not the wonders the signs that they are doing because jesus says in matthew 24 24 he says for false christs and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders to deceive if, if to deceive if possible even the elect and so he says False prophets, false Christ and false prophets will rise and show great signs and wonders. So that means that even people who are not of him can show great signs and wonders. And like even also in the Bible, we have many we have examples where people were hearing um, like the voice of God, but those people were not like from God or yes so we cannot uh, define if a person is from God or not or if the person has the Holy Spirit or not by their, the signs that they are doing if by the wonders they are doing they, they can cast out demons maybe even but it doesn't mean that they are from God sometimes they are healing people they are do you hear their revelations, their visions, and you you believe that the person is from God, but it's not by by that by this that we know 
uh, whether they are from God. It's not by dreams. It's not by revelations. But by what we can know, it's the fruit. And the fruit is, it's what are they saying? First of all, the word coming out from their mouth. Is the word that they are saying, is it, um, is it, does it go with the word of God? Does it fit to the word of God? Or are they preaching something that's not in the Bible? Because no matter what the big prophet you are, if you're not preaching from the Bible, you're not of God. The Holy Spirit is not in you. The Holy Spirit is not using you. And second, your the character. Is the character really the, really the character of the Holy Spirit? So, because it's not in good works we can know if they have the Holy Spirit. Because, um, like some people, they are showing their good works outside. And Jesus said, if your right hand is doing something, the left hand does not need to know. So, some things that are people just doing for fame or because they want the honor of men. Even sometimes they are telling their revelations because they want to be high. They want to, um, like, they want to be honored by men. And Jesus says, in uh, yeah, the Bible says in Galatians five, from verse I'm reading from verse uh, twenty two. The Bible tells says here what. The fruit of the Holy Spirit is, so the fruit of the Holy Spirit is, it's that, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. So by this, we can know whether, also whether we, we have the Holy Spirit. Because if we get, if the Holy Spirit comes into our life, it will change us. It will change our character and our behavior. And he will remind us of the word of God. And the Holy Spirit will even change the way we dress. It will change our life. Yes. So I want to uh, beg you now, do not believe everything that you are seeing or any, like all the people who are saying that they are from God. Do not um, have faith in man, but trust in God. Because God wants us to trust in him. He does not want us to trust in man. Man can fail us, but God will never fail us. Do not, do not um, just believe anyone who's telling you he's a prophet, he's a pastor, or he has a call of God. Don't just believe them. It, it doesn't matter what signs they are doing, what great healings they are doing, how many demons they can cast out. It doesn't matter how um, many signs they are doing. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what dreams and revelations they have, how often they hear the voice of God, all those things. You cannot know by them that they are truly from God or not, but only only depend on the word of God because the, because the word of God is telling you the truth. Only depend on the word of God. Do not depend on what someone is telling you. Depend on what is the Bible telling you. It's what the person is telling you really does it fit to the Bible? Is it one with the Bible? Or is the uh, person telling you something that's not in the Bible? Because the Bible is our standard. So we only have, we have to put our trust in the Bible. We have to believe what is in there, but not what any man of God or someone is telling us what what is in the Bible, what is in the word of God. Yes, because that's why Jesus says, beware 
that there are many false Christs and false prophets coming, especially now in this end time, or in this last time, in this last days. Yeah, okay. God bless you, and yeah, stay blessed.